All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part seven of the As Built series. Um, you know, we left off looking at something like this for our front elevation, and now we're going to want to turn that into this. So we have to add the gable roof in the front for above. This is the uh, master bath, and this is the master closet. And then we have to do our railing uh, and our stairs for the front. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is, I, I copied this up to show you what it's going to look like, and this is obviously going to be the side view too, but we're not going to get to that in this video. Um, what I do is, I take my wall section, and I copy it to the left. <clears throat> this wall section here is set up for a 30 foot deep house how high or how far this will rise and run until it hits 15 feet and then it's going to come back down so halfway through so we drew a line here that was 15 feet long we brought that line up and then we knew where to trim that off at okay this one is going to be the other gable roof so the first thing i need to know is from corner to corner right here to right here it's 12 feet 7. So that means that it's going to run six feet, three and a half inches before it starts coming back down. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Six feet, three and a half. And then I'm going to go up. Now, by the way, the rise and run on this is usually labeled. Um, I don't know why. I guess I didn't copy this over when I was doing it earlier. It should be an 812 pitch. So I'll put that on my original one. But that gable roof in the front is going to have the same 812. And then I like to label over here with something. You just call it like front gable. Okay. Now that doesn't change any of these things. It only changes where we trim that off. And then it's going to come back down. So now the reason for going to the left was because everything is still lined up going through to the front. Let me get rid of my hatch pattern. I'm going to take these lines and those lines and this line and I'm going to copy that from the wall. So this is the outside of the wall. Bring that across until it hits the outside of the wall. Stay on the green line. So you can see now it's not going to be this corner. It's going to be this one here. That's the outside of the wall. Okay, so we get something like that. Now we got to clean it up. This is going to get pulled back to here because it's going to stop and hit that. This is in front and this is going to be behind. Um, these lines, so here, let's do this. Let's, let's take this and this and let's mirror that over this to this. And it's going to ask, do you want to erase the source? We say no. Okay. <clears throat> now, these lines in here are going to get trimmed. So if you do trim and you click one, two, three, and then you go like this, that should trim them off at that point, which is what we want. We want these to run and hit here, run and hit here. All right. This side, pretty easy. Take this line, drag this across, take a new line. Draw that up until you get an intersection. If you're not getting intersection, that's OS enter. Make sure intersection is turned on. Match properties, blue to blue. Trim the extra. That side's done. This side, same thing. These lines go away. Stretch that. Draw a line. Trim. Match properties, blue. Oops, wrong one. All right, so that's done. So now I can technically hatch pattern this and this. Those are not going to change. And I can hatch pattern this and this separately. Siding goes on these. Hatch, oh, I'm sorry, foundation goes on there. But we got a lot to do in here. Okay, so that's the next part. All right, so <clears throat> by the way, You'll see going to the side view that the peak of this is what we're going to bring across to get the peak of that gable running forward, um, you know, kind of stretching out in front of that house. Okay. 
Um, so here's what we need to make. We need to go with something like this, all right? So, taking the floor, let's see. We got our foundation line. I wanna see what I ended up lining this up with. The top of the deck. Oh, okay. All right, so here's what we do. <coughs> Excuse me. The lines that we created for the stairs, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to do a construction line at the top and bottom of each piece of Azek. I'm going to do copy. I'm going to grab it from this top corner and stick that on all of these top corners. Now, if you recall on the floor plan, the width of the stairs is four feet and they're centered on the door, two feet to the left, two feet to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down from the center of the door, offset that by two feet <clears throat> left and right, erase this middle line, and now I don't need, I'm going to do trim, I'm going to select these two lines and hit enter again, and now I don't need, I like to go way out here to do this, because I don't want to trim this, but I want to get all these yellow ones out of here, and I like to go out here on this side, alright, so you got those out of the way. So that's where the stairs are going to be. Now this, this one, okay, so that one's going to be the top of the deck because we, well, let's trim these. We're going one, two, three, four, and then the next one is the top of the deck. So we can trim there, we can trim there, um, we can trim that out, we're not going to see that, we can trim that out. There's going to be a lot more trimming later for the door, but don't worry about that for right now. Uh, this line can actually be stretched back to... Let's say to here for now, and then we'll figure out where that goes later on. <clears throat> now do extend, a quick extend, which is EX, enter, enter. And stretch that all the way in that area. You know immediately that you have to trim this stuff off. That's a quick trim again. Oops. And trim 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 all right so that's the top of the deck the bottom of the deck would be now these are going to be i guess two by eights we're putting in the front which are really like seven and a half inches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do an offset of 7.5 off of this one which means we are not going to see that and we're not going to see that in that area. That's going to be the bottom. These stairs are going to be in front of that. So you don't want that line in the middle. Something like that. Let's start changing some colors. Match properties. I'm going to go on my red railing here. Um, by the way, in these videos, I now have a downloadable uh, file that you guys can go into in order to get all of these different pieces. And that will help you guys out with all your match properties. It will help you out with the windows and doors and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So these are going to be red. Those are going to be red. Okay. Um, now, so I was wrong about this. This is going to go up until it hits there. That's going to go up until it hits there. All right. So, so far, we're looking pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> now, the posts. There are two lines. They're both blue. All right. But this one has to be at least one inch off this siding before it goes up. And you're going to go, let's see not 36 the, the top of the handrail is 36 but if you have a, a handrail on top of these posts that means you're gonna go 34.5 I'm gonna get rid of this little line we're gonna offset that four inches and also I can bring these down from my plan so you can see like I've got that one right now I can do a construction line and bring down that and that <coughs> down down I could also take these and copy them and then that last post is going to be right there so the last post actually lines up with whoops lines up right next to it looks like it's going to touch that siding but it really doesn't because it's actually way out here and the wall is way back here okay um, so we want to take a line, we want to draw that line across, 
that's going to be the top of the rail of the top of the posts and now you go 1.5 inch up and that's going to be the top of the railing now we can extend these all right more match properties let's color that let's color blue this post um let's trim between here and here and get those out get these out get those out right now we're gonna have posts down here later too and we're gonna figure that out later but don't worry about it for now let's get this door out of here that's kind of confusing so if you take all of these lines but then you deselect that one the one that's back there and those two I'm gonna move this out about 30 feet staying on the green line <clears throat> that makes it a lot more easy not easier to see okay match properties these are gonna be all blue that line I guess I just missed that when I was trimming okay <clears throat> whoops and the last one match properties blue trim I missed that one as well anything below it anything above it like that um, the railing <clears throat> excuse me is only gonna go 1.5 I'm sorry one inch overhang and then it's gonna go up so get rid of this small line we're gonna do the same thing over here <clears throat> this is the opening where the door is gonna be <clears throat> one get rid of the small line open this up right now next thing offset four four there and four here the ramp the bottom of the railing can't be bigger than four inches the gap the gap at the bottom because it's uh, safety precautions it's so that children can't slide underneath the railing um, and that also is the same reason why the railing has to be at least three feet so we gotta at least have a four not at least excuse me a minimum a maximum of four inches um, at this bottom here okay so off of that line now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna trim that and that I'm gonna trim in here trim in there same thing here you just don't want anything on top of the post the posts the posts are the main construction or structure I should say okay that goes and then we need another four over here something like that right now we're gonna do the actual banisters that are going across the vertical pieces uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do an offset of four inches and then an offset of 1.5 <clears throat> if you trim here and let's do a match properties again because these are gonna be red um, actually these so we missed something here let's back up we need another 1.5 because this is not a piece that's just a gap we need a 1.5 here I think it's a 1.5 yeah it's 1.5 at the bottom so you see what we're trying to do here is this basically okay all right let's do that again offset 4 1.5 now you could go across and keep doing 4 1.5 4 1.5 all the way but I prefer trimming the pieces that you don't need which are gonna be that and that and then I get rid of this line and I take the railing let's do a match properties real quick I take this piece and this piece and copy from the left side and just keep sliding until you get that intersection Now you can see that this next one goes into that post so you get rid of that and you trim off the extra and that part's done if they're the same size which I don't remember if I did that evenly on the plan or not you could copy the entire thing and say okay from the right of this post how about the right of that post so these actually were exactly the right size between each other and now those two are done match properties let's get this one right now this one's going to be a little bit different because I'm sure the numbers are not the same based on the door being in the center. <clears throat> Excuse me, the door being in the center. 
see 3.6 and a quarter 3.7 so now we could take some of them or maybe one of them copy grab it from the left side click get rid of this piece um, oh and we forgot our so this line goes away we forgot our 1.5 offset down here and now we're gonna take these three copy those And again, we have something that goes off. So what I do in this situation, because you can't have like a half banister. I keep saying banister. I guess they're like more like spindles. Um, I erase that one. And I most likely will just extend it like that and make it a little bit bigger than four rather than having something that's incorrect. Uh, like that. Okay. All right, the stairs. The stairs are also going to have a post on top of the first step. Right there. Which means you're not going to see the stairs through the post. And you're not going to see that through the post either. Although I don't want that to trim at that point, so I got to do a quick trim there. Something like that. Another match properties. I think I missed this one. Um, this, I'll come back to this in a second. This railing is also, now again, when you're out in the field and you're measuring, you're measuring where the positions of all these posts are, all these railings and all that stuff. For me, this house doesn't exist, but I would assume that it would be underneath like that. Um, could put another one over here, but it's probably sitting on top of a, uh, uh, what's it called? A plate, I guess. I can't think of the term off the top of my head. Hang on. See, I want to get these terms right for you guys. <clears throat> um, not a great example. Well, we'll leave it like that, alright? I don't want to waste too much time trying to think of a, a word. I'll say it in the next video when I get it. Um... Yeah, so I'm just, I'm gonna leave it like just like that. I, I think I put more posts down here, but I, I don't think that they're necessary because they're gonna be actually this one is this is important. Um, we're gonna copy that one down. Oop, I'm in the wrong one, but that's okay. Something like that. This line should have already been there. This line just erase, like so. All right, so you need, I, I would assume you need those two, and then you'd probably have two underneath as well um, that you can't see, okay? All right, so the stairs, all right? So after, so let's, we're actually going to erase these for now because you're not going to see them, and I'll show you why in a second. At the top of this one, you're going to draw a line. Here's another thing. Rather than drawing all these yellow lines, why don't we do a make object current and just click on the red? So now we don't have to keep, doing match properties on everything. All right, you're gonna offset 1.5 here, and that's gonna be the end of the railing. Like basically, if I drew an X here, that would be the end of the piece of wood for the railing that's gonna run up. But it should have a one inch overhang. So now I'm doing stretch. I know I want to stretch this, 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 and this. So I'm drawing a box like that, but I'm holding shift and I'm deselecting the ones that I don't want. And now I'm doing S enter. I'm clicking anywhere and I'm going to the right on the green line, one inch. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this X now. We don't need it. Um, that means that this is gonna get brought back and this is gonna get brought back because you're not gonna see past that point because these lines are going to go up. You won't see that. Won't see that. It runs behind it, but that's the actual top railing piece coming down the stairs, which would be this piece right here coming down the top, okay, on top of the posts. So now we could probably just take this, copy it, from the left side top of the post 
left side top of the post. I probably have too many lines here now. So I'm going to just go back in. This is just because I'm a little paranoid with having too many lines. That gets dragged back. That gets dragged back. Drag or trim. Up to you. Trim. Alright. And that looks pretty good. Let's see if we're missing anything. I think that's it. Alright, so now we got to move the door back in. The thing about these railings is that you can't... You, you want it to... You don't want to have to do all of this crazy trimming behind the railing. So pretend like you just can't see through the railing, that's what I was told, and trim everything behind it out, but anything that's showing up down here has to show. Um, hang on, let me just make sure we're still recording here. Good. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right. Um, <clears throat> the stuff that pops out through the bottom, between, bottom, and above is all things that you're gonna see. So here's what I do. I do a B poly. I hit OK. This is an island detection tool. All I do is click in here and it makes the island piece and I hit enter. Then I'm gonna do a B poly here and hit enter. A B poly here and do enter. And I'm gonna wanna change those to be a different color And I'm going to want to move those out 30 feet. Like that. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to red because we've got a yellow door. Alright, anything that is inside this box, that box, or that box has to remain. Which means anything not inside of there is going to get trimmed. Now this is a little tricky. There's no order to what I'm doing right now, but I'm just saying, okay, these lines got to stay in here. That doesn't. Uh, this just gets erased. That was just extra from my trims. So this one's already done. We're following this. That's good. These get trimmed. Those get trimmed. Those and those and those. And then erase that and erase that. So now we have just what's inside of this box just what's inside of those two. Get rid of the boxes. Select everything. Move. Move over to the left. 30 feet. And let's just see what that looks like. And that's it. All right. The door is now tucked behind there. You can't see it. We're able to go in and do our hatch pattern again. You're going to do a hatch pattern here, but you're also going to do a hatch pattern underneath. There will not... Ooh, I, I was just going to say there's not going to be one there, and then I clicked by accident. Let's try that again. By the way, if you're going to do a hatch pattern, don't have this be off your screen because it may not calculate the stuff that's off. So have the whole thing on your screen. One here, one there, not here, not here because that's all door trim. And then right there. And then hit enter. And then now we can do our foundation hatch pattern. Ooh, there must be a gap there. Whenever that travels like that, that means there's some kind of gap and it's allowing that hatch to escape. One, two, three, enter. Okay. Match properties, siding, siding. Match properties, foundation, foundation. Boom. Front elevation is done. All right. And that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching part number seven. Uh, number eight will go into the side elevation, which is going to be a little bit different. Um, the front can actually be mirrored for the back because most of it will be the same except for the windows and doors. You won't have the gable here. It'll be on the right side, which is helpful for the mirror, but it'll be a little bit bigger because that room in the back is pretty big. Okay, um, but that's it. I, I want to leave it at that point for this video. That's 25-ish minutes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Gotta catch